The number of pedestrian deaths locally has risen in the last two years, and the city of Richmond is now taking a closer look at road safety for people and bicyclists. CBS 6's Matthew Fultz spoke with the director of outreach for Bike RVA to find out how pedestrians and drivers can safely coexist on the road. Matthew, stay up. <laughs> oh, Cheryl, I'm staying up all right. That's right. I spoke with that outreach director as part of Richmond's Bike to Work Day. And unfortunately, while I did not bike to work this morning since I live out in Short Pump, that uh, outreach director tells me that one of the ways that bicyclists and drivers can cope is for drivers to change lanes when they pass a bicyclist and give them space. A few quick cheers and these bike lovers are off to work. We rode from Northside uh, to downtown on a network of protected bike lanes, which prior to today would not really have been possible uh, due to the work of our partners at the city. As dozens of Richmonders take part in RVA Bike to Work Day, helping bring awareness to bike safety. The city of Richmond recognizes that safety is a major challenge for pedestrians and people riding bikes. Brantley Tyndall serves as director of outreach for Bike RVA and says within the last few years, city leaders have made bicycle safety a top priority. From crosswalks and sidewalks to protected bike lanes and paved trails. Tyndall says within the last two years, bicycle and pedestrian crashes have gone up. According to data from sports backers, drivers killed 39% more people walking in the Richmond area last year. So what caused that is largely speeding. Speeding is the biggest cause. And secondarily, uh, people who bike and walk who are vulnerable road users don't have dedicated places to avoid that speeding. And he says the city is continuing to work on ways to create safety barriers between drivers and bikers. Repaving bike lanes uh, throughout the city to make them safer, uh, improving their design, and to encourage proper driving, proper riding. In the meantime, he encourages drivers to take it slow on the road and for bikers to ride smart because it takes a team effort. The proper way to pass a bicyclist is to change lanes because it gives more space to that vulnerable road user and is the most effective thing for preventing fatalities. Now you heard it right there, folks. Some good information right out there. Drivers and bikers both be smart. Meanwhile, I wanna mention one city councilman, uh, Mike Jones says, while bikers are, are, are working on being safe, he's working to try and get uh, speed limits lowered on many streets uh, throughout Richmond. So he's working to propose uh, work on a proposal to introduce to uh, city council members next month, and he hopes to get several streets in Richmond reduced uh, below the speed limit of 30 miles per hour sometime as early as 2022. Working for you this afternoon, or biking, I should say, I'm Matthew Foltz, CBS 6 